Hi, this is Greg Sterner, licensed physical therapist and owner at Fitness Together of Point Loma Personal Training Gym at Liberty Station. Uh, this week's video, we're going to talk about sleep and actually how much uh, too much sleep can sometimes be a bad thing for you, just as too little sleep. Usually, um, the Centers for Disease and Prevention actually says that if you get over 10 hours of sleep a night, it's actually just as bad, if not worse, than getting less than six hours. You really want to hit that sweet spot of seven to 10 hours. If you do have insomnia and you end up oversleeping a lot of times, trying to get those maybe that seven to nine hours, but you actually are in bed for 10 hours plus, some things you can do at night are meditate, maybe before you go to bed. If you do wake up with insomnia in the middle of the night, um, try to do uh, some gratitude um, listing. Um, I like to do that at night if I can't sleep and just think of all the things you're grateful for. Maybe make a list in your head and even say them quietly to yourself. That can help. But basically, sleeping over 10 hours a lot of times is caused by depression, but also you can't um, catch up on your sleep on the weekends. So let's say you had a bad night of only five hours one night during the weeknight. You can't try to get that extra sleep in and sleep for 10 hours or plus on the weekend. It doesn't work that way. It's kind of like overeating and exercising. You overeat a meal, you can't exercise it off. Anyway, I hope you like our article, and I'm going to show you one great exercise for waking up in the morning. It's called inchworms. What you're going to do is basically do a down dog. So basically out here, and if you can get your hands flat to the ground, you know, flat to the hell, ground, butt is up high, head down low. So basically you make an inverted V, and then you're going to walk out from that, and basically go into cobra. Let your hips drop, chest up, and just let your belly sag. And then you would go back up to the inchworm, to the down dog. If you need a modification on that, you can put a step down for your hands if your hamstrings are a little tight. One last thing, um, a book to think about reading, Hal Elrod. It's called The Miracle Morning. It's a great way to get up, start your day early with some focus. You would basically read, you would meditate, you would journal or scribe, you would go through gratitude, you would go through affirmations. Awesome way to wake up in the morning if you're having a hard time and you're oversleeping. Great way to get up and start your day. Have a great day, and um, if you'd like, please give us a call. If you'd like to come in for a free session, 619-756-7500. Thank you.